to help us understand what we're doing in this question, we have sketched a general looking vector function r of t. Of course, this question gives us the equation of r of t right here. And then we've selected a particular point p. Now at that point, the value of the parameter lowercase t is equal to zero. And then we know that we have a tangent vector at that point. So this vector right here, symbolized by r prime of zero, is the tangent vector. It's just a vector that is tangent to the curve at point P. Now, we do not want a tangent vector. We would like a unit tangent vector, which is symbolized by T of T. Now, recall that a unit tangent vector is a vector that is running in the same direction or pointing in the same direction as that red tangent vector, but it simply has a length equal to one or a magnitude equal to one, if you prefer. So that is our objective, is to find that vector right there. But before we can do that, we need to find that red tangent vector. So that is our first step. We're going to calculate r prime of zero. We'll do r prime of t first and then plug zero in, of course. So the derivative of the x component would be the derivative of the cosine of t, which is negative sine of t. The derivative of 3t, which is the y component, is just 3. And then the derivative of the z component, be a little bit careful here, you have to use chain rule. So the derivative of sine is cosine. You'd have 2 times cosine of 2t. But then you'd have to multiply by the derivative of the inside function. So the derivative of 2t is just 2. Now we can go ahead and plug in 0 for our lowercase t, our parameter. So we would have the negative sine of 0. 3 is a lock here. We have 2 times the cosine of 0 times 2. Of course, for the x component, the sine of 0 is 0, so negative 0 is 0. The y component is 3. Cosine of 0 is 1. 2 times 1 times 2 is 4. So that is our tangent vector. What we now need to do is find the unit tangent vector. Now, recall, to find the unit vector of any vector would require you to take your vector, so we're going to take r prime of 0, and then we're going to divide it by the magnitude of r prime of 0. You probably learned in an earlier section that to find a unit vector, you simply take your vector and divide it by the magnitude. So here we go. We're going to find this unit tangent vector by taking the tangent vector, 0, 3, 4, and then dividing by the magnitude. So the magnitude is just the square root of the sum of the squares of the components. So 0 squared plus 3 squared plus 4 squared. In the denominator there, it looks like we're going to get the square root of 25, which is just 5. And then we just divide each component by 5. So 0 divided by 5 is 0. 3 divided by 5 is 3 fifths. And 4 divided by 5 is 4 fifths. This is the unit tangent vector on the curve when little t is equal to 0. And it is indeed the correct answer to the question. Thank you for taking the time to watch the video. If you're interested in making a small donation to my cause, I would greatly appreciate it. But of course, please do not feel obligated to do so.